Good morning. I wanted to show you my Lowe's haul, uh, which includes these seeds. Um, it says for Fairy Morris, and it said non-GMO. And uh, I got some blooms because I wanted some more purple in my yard. And um, so I decided to get these cone flowers, which help um, bees and pollinators come around. And I got echinacea because I believe that I can use them in teas and stuff like that for uh, immune boosting properties. And if you notice that the seeds here are purplish and, um, they're, and the, these here for the basil are greenish, it's because they coat it with something that makes the seeds bigger. Otherwise, the seeds are really tiny and they are hard to um, to spread out and I paid a little bit more for this but it's okay um, maybe it'll insulate the seeds and make the seeds uh, more productive more efficient and I can get more yield um, and here I got some carrots uh, I've been trying to grow carrots and I think I found out why uh, I haven't been able to cultivate any carrots all but one um, and the reason is that they dry really easily and because they're a root vegetable they prefer to have moist soil so I'm going to try this out later um, to grow so I got this sweet little finger and scarlet nantes which I've heard are the excellent um, kind they're sweet and easy to grow, um, and they're thinner, so they don't get too thick. Um, so I think that's a better choice, um, but I'm just trying them out. And uh, I've tried to grow them before, and in the past they've all died, and I used a different kind that I bought from Johnny's Seeds. So. Although these are not um, heirloom, I'm, I'm willing to try them out just, be, just as long as they're non-GMO. <clears throat> so I'm 
So over here I have a couple empty little Ziploc pouches or um, just little pouches that have a seal at the top and that's what I do whenever I come across these types of uh, bags. I keep them because uh, at the end of the growing season when I have a lot of seeds and I need to collect them like I do with the fennel and star anise and brassicas and stuff like that. I'll throw the seeds in little pouches like this and they're easy because you can just label the back of them or the, the front of them so you know what they are. They're waterproof and they don't they won't get wet like the ones in these paper pouches do. And then you can also put them in a paper envelope as well. So I had already gotten through um, planting some things into the ground and what I do sometimes is I'll empty out the pouches over here from of the seeds and I stick the seeds in the ground and if the pouch is empty then I will laminate the pouches and put them where I sowed the seeds so it'll be my label. So here I have parsley that I've, that it's the pouch and it's laminated and I put it right where I grow the item so it's, it acts as a label for what I grew and I still retain all the information regarding when to grow it and all that stuff. And then once I harvest the seeds at the end of the season, I can clip this laminated pouch to it so it'll um, tell me when to sew it next. It's a, a good way to cheat and have multiple functions for the same thing, which is to label your plants as they're growing and also to label your seeds when you've already harvested them. So that's a tip that I have for you, um, as well as with the pouches. And I hope you enjoy your day. I just spent the morning watering all the plants and Get, um, feeding the bunnies and the chickens and so there's a lot of weeding to do and also culling vegetables and stuff that I will try to do uh, before it gets hot so I hope you have a nice day